coffee noise. The handsome young man, what's he doing here? He came here to see your father on business. He didn't by any chance mention the hundred pesos he donated at the racetrack. No. Senor Tim came here to buy some bulls. Senor Tim? Then you know him. I know him already like he was my own son. Sometimes I worry about him. You do? Why? He works too hard. He never takes time to sing or fight or dance with the beautiful girls. He has no fun at all. I cannot. Ah, Lolita. Oh, uh, Lolita, may I present Senor Kelly and Senor Farrell. Gentlemen, this is my daughter, Lolita. Howdy, ma'am. Uh, I'm very pleased to meet you. I think we've met. Oh, we have? Yes, at the racetrack. Aren't you the senor that gave me the hundred pesos for the cigarettes? Oh, that, that, sure, sure. Now, about Lucero. Oh, yes, Lucero, magnificent horse. Right this way, senor. I have another bull to show you. You must be very interested in livestock to have come so far. I am. Are you sure there wasn't some other reason besides livestock that brought you here? Perhaps. Could it be that you hope to find oil here? No. I know. You want me to give you back the hundred pesos I took from you at the racetrack. Oh, of course. I need it. Not livestock. Not oil. Not the hundred pesos. Then it must be something else. Look, little lady, what is this, the Inquisition? I had my reasons, I still have them, and I'm not telling them to anyone. Not yet, anyway. Can't I stay unless I tell? I'm sorry. Of course you may. Well, whatever your reasons are, I'm glad you're here, and I hope we can make your stay a very pleasant one. Good evening, Lolita. Good evening, Tim. Hey, this reminds me of nights back home. Do you have a moon like this in Texas? Oh, we sure do. It's the same one. It does make everything look lovely, though, doesn't it? You. What do you do in Texas on nights like this? Well, I'll tell you. First of all, I'd get a girl, I suppose. Then we'd hop into a car and drive out in the country someplace. Yes. Well, and then we'd find a dark road. Oh, a dark road. And then, I'd probably run out of gas. How very convenient. Go on. But you see, I always carry an extra gallon in the back seat. So I put it in the tank and we drive to a hamburger joint and get some sandwiches. You know, I'm beginning to think you're just not the romantic type. <laughs> well, that all depends on who I'm with. Indeed. I know a town of no renown That's not among the seven That's in Senotel I heaven When I'm far Any more trouble with Senor Kelly? Oh, have you seen him? Yes. Why? Well, I want to tell him how sorry I am for the way I talked to him. You see, you really saved my life. Oh? Well, I'm afraid Senor Kelly will have to do without your apologies, Lolita. He's gone. Gone? Why? Well, as a matter of how fact. How long I... ago? Oh, not long. I gave him Lucero and told him to leave. You gave him Lucero? Yes, as an inducement to go back home and stop annoying Lolita. Santiago, saddle my horse. 